Hello YouTube and welcome back to another World Painter tutorial and this one's going to be all about custom brushes and how to create your own custom brushes and um, yes, let's get started. Uh, first of all, people have been asking about my custom brushes. Now, I don't really want to put them up for download, not because I don't want to share them with you guys, but because they're not mine. Um, so, I've done a bit of Googling to try and find where these custom brushes have come from. Um, I used to have them all. Uh, I actually don't think I did have all of them, I don't think I had like these ones, these are really nice brushes. Um, so I'll try and find where the majority of them are from. Um, I know that they're from like Jamsy Boys packs, they're from Jerocraft's packs, they are another guy, I can't remember his name, but there's another pack. Um, so I'll put a few links to the PMC pages down below, as well. so rather than like, you know, me just redistributing everybody else's work you can go to the source and you can like you know credit them kind of thing but what i also want to show you is how to make your own custom brushes um because this is dead dead easy so you can either do it using these tools or you can do it making the custom brush tools once you get those and that's what i'm going to do so you can see here i've already done a few tests um i'll just show you what these look like my tests they're not great so we can just bring this up we kind of make all of all of the of the main custom brush together. That went up a little bit too high, but if we do Control and three to get the three view, see that's what that's what that looks like. Not a really particularly nice one. Um, the next brush, I think worked out, but that this was a really really nice sort of soft. And it's a bit of a, but, if, but if that was a bit wider, then it'd probably be better. Again, if we do Control three, I always press close. See that's that's a nicer one, but it still needs a bit more work um so I'll just minimize that instead of closing it this was a hack that i got google and you can see that and you can see that's a really nasty brush i was trying to make a valley um so yeah we've got that and then all i've done was with that brush that we just had um i went over it with a smooth brush and managed to create this brush um this one on it, it's too too smooth for my liking um, but what I'm going to show you is how to create your own ones and and then I think I'll do like a little speed build of me making a brush if it doesn't turn out great it won't be in the video but um, we'll see if I can come up with something pretty interesting so basically you're just going to take your brush actually first of all we're going to make a new world always start on a new world um, in fact actually looking at this brush that was not a good example was it yeah, so we're always going to start on a new world, and this is just for safety. Uh, so no, we don't want safety changes. Generated world. Um, I generally leave that as default. The uh, size, I'm not too sure because the biggest you can scroll your mouse wheel to is almost that full size. So you don't really need to go bigger than that size if you want to get like a nice accurate brush. So let's go back to new world. Um, we want it to be flat. We want the level to be 1, we want water level to be 0. Uh, turn off beaches, simple grass, that's fine. Ocean sea, that's fine. And create. And then you're going to get your lower tool, lower everything by one block, so that you get this grey layer. That grey layer then means you're at bedrock, which is, on your height map, going to be absolute black. So that's, that's good, that's what you want. Next, you're going to take a couple of your brushes and just build up some terrain. So... Let's go for a, a simple valley. We'll have two mountains on either side and a valley in the middle. So we'll go up like this. You can see I'm doing this really, really quick. And that's just so that you guys get the idea. And then I'm going to spend a bit more time on one of my own brushes. And we can have it curl off kind of like this. So build up a bit more of the terrain like that. And then... And then just do something like this. So that's going to be a nice simple brush. Now at the moment, this is going to be a really... It's going to take forever to build this brush up. Because we're only at height 34, 40. That's kind of like our max peak. If you just control 3, you see it's not really a great brush. So what you want to do is make sure that you get some really strong peaks in here. So we're going to go over that again now. And build this up. Make sure your intensity is on 100 as well for making these custom brushes. It'll make it a lot easier. And just build it up quite strong. I won't do it too much. But you want to do it so it's quite a strong 
contrasty look on here. Uh, change to that brush, wasn't it? Yep. Put that in there. We'll put another one going off to that side, like that. And just get this brush and we'll just do a few, a few of those just to mess up the terrain a little bit. So it's not so perfect. And that should be good. So there you go. We've got really strong mountains now and then that little valley floor. Don't worry about the mountains looking a bit too odd at the moment. If you do want to, you can always just raise that middle bit. I always use a soft brush for raising up the terrain because it kind of keeps everything sort of, you know, I wouldn't say natural, but kind of together rather than like, you know, not too bad. Uh, maybe lower that a little bit. But this is like the basic anyway. So I've pressed the button now off a press box. What's going on? What are you doing? Why won't you work? Turn the intensity to 100%. That was silly. So there we go. So that's that. Then you're going to go File. You're going to go to Export and Export Height Map. Once you've exported the height map, you're going to save it to your desktop, to your Documents folder, whatever you want to save it to. Then you're going to go to Tools, Open Custom Brushes folder, and just move it across. So if it's on your desktop, move it from your desktop to your Custom Brushes folder. Dead simple. Uh, so I'll just do that. Once you've done that and you've saved it there, you then have to close World Painter and load it back up again to test the brush. That's the only annoying thing. So if you're going to do like a few brushes, um, I'd suggest making a couple and then closing it and testing it. Um, if you're going to focus on just one brush, then you know it doesn't take too long to load it up, so it's not too much of an issue. But I'll just save this brush, I'll put it into my custom brushes folder, and then we'll load it up and see how that works. Okay, so we're back. I've just loaded up World Painter. We're back to this horrible Minecraft default terrain. As you can see, we now have an extra brush. So this is the one that I've just made here. So you can see it's really dark on those peaks that we brought up. You've got that grey bit in the middle, which is where the terrain was raised, and the rest is just kind of white, which means there's not going to be a lot going on. So if we leave it on intensity 50, and we just click, you can see how the terrain starts to pop. And, and I just wait, wait for a little bit. The seems pretty good. Press and, and it, and it, and it doesn't look too bad. You know, it's, it's kind of served its purpose. We didn't spend a lot of time on it. It's just to show you guys what you can create. And you can create some really cool things doing this as well. If you've spent a bit of time, um, you get some interesting shapes. Now, because I only used like the one terrain brush, really, it's all going to look the same as the other custom brushes. So, it's not too much of an issue. If we do undo, we put the intensity to 100, and we just go all the way up, up. Like, like, do it, do it, do it. It should, it should, there you go. It looks very similar to the brush that you created. Um, so, if you do it like a full intensity, and you do bring it up a lot, it will look like the original brush that you made. Um, I would suggest staying away from the max height limit um, when creating the brushes, just because when you get uh, really intense, like to the top of the height limit on making the custom brush, it'll be really white, so it'll be really strong, so it'll create really sharp peaks, which I think generally look bad unless you're doing a specific terrain that, that suits. But what I'm going to do now is I'll speed up the footage, I'm going to try and make a, an interesting brush um, and if it turns out good and I like the brush I'll put it up for a download, I'll put a PMC link in the description along with all the other ones if not then I think I'll still just let you guys watch me fail and I'll just be like yeah, I'm not using it but hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial, hopefully it's helped you out and it's given you a few ideas uh, if it has don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one
Okay. So here we are. Moment of truth time. So this was the brush that I've just made. I think I called it Valley Test. Something like that. So that's what we're trying to make. We're trying to make a little valley. Hopefully you guys saw that in the video. Uh, let's see what it looks like. So this is a 50% intensity. So we'll just do a little bit. And we'll just sort of build it up gently. I don't want this to be too high. So once you start to see the ridges forming, it should be high enough. Control 3. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Doesn't look too bad, actually. Now that I'm looking at it. I'd say that's not too bad at all. Um, maybe a bit more definition would have been better. But let's see. What if we tried, like, really small now? Just go over so like that. What does that do to it? Does that make any more interesting shapes? A little bit. But it's not being too bad. Let's try uh, pumping the intensity up. And just go quick, just like the the Go back in. Yeah, so that's... I'm quite happy with that brush, actually. It's... I don't know where I'm actually ever going to use it. Um, you know, you've got these little valley river floor bits here with you come down through the mountain and then it could flow off and you could like put other bits of mountains with it so like you know we put uh this one like down here maybe build that up and then over here maybe build that up and continue that like so and then just you see how it like the it could just continue on and that's just one little brush and you can just continue to do that just build and build and build until the brushes are exactly how you want them. Uh, but yeah, uh, I don't think I will be putting this brush up for download because it's it. I don't think I'm ever going to use it. I don't think anyone's ever really going to be find it useful. If enough people do say that they want it, then I guess I will. But at this moment in time, I don't really see the point in doing that. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy. Hopefully you guys can uh, come up with something really cool. If you do come up with a really cool brush, um, Put a link if you're gonna like put it up for download or something, or you know you've got a sc uh, screenshot or something. Put a link below and I'll go check it out because I like seeing what people come up with and stuff like that. So if you do that, I'll definitely come check it out. People who watch this video may also come check it out. I don't know, maybe I don't know. Um, but yeah, if you come up with some cool custom brushes of your own, put a link in. I'll go check it out. I've said that about five times now. Uh, outros aren't my thing. Uh, hopefully this video has been helpful, uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next one.